Here we go, Flats East Bank, everybody. Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm David Moss, and this is gonna be one of those shows that you're gonna find invigorating, and you're gonna say, I can't believe I found this in my own backyard. If you haven't been to the Flats in recent years, you have not been to the Flats, especially the Flats East Bank. Just check it out. Beautiful river here, we've got the boats, we've got the bridges, but we've got a whole bunch of brand new clubs, restaurants, even a hotel. And if you get a little uh, bored on this side, we've got a way to get to the other side. There's a taxi, a water taxi. So we've got a lot to show you in New Day Cleveland today, and we're going to get started with one of my favorite places. It's called Alley Cat. Talk about dining with an amazing view. And we couldn't be at another place other than one of Zach Brule's amazing locations, Alley Cat, here in the flats. Zach, I know that you have had such a reputation here in Cleveland with so many wonderful restaurants. This being probably too many for you to count. I think it's your eighth, though, if I'm counting correctly. No, maybe nine. Maybe nine? Oh, my nine. gosh. So when you make this many different restaurants in town, how do you make each one stand out? And what makes this one so different? Well, every one is different. I mean, you can go from a brasserie to an Italian food to a fusion cuisine. This one is shore food. This is a seafood restaurant. So not Oyster House. So on the weekends here, we could, on one night alone, we could shuck 3,000 oysters. And we're shucking to order. We're not pre shucking. Okay, here you go. You got bar one and two, mussels and oysters. Bar one, two. Go for it. This is the first of our restaurants that are sort of a mainstream restaurant. This is not intended to be fine dining. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be, you know, just an escape for the evening and you're escaping to the shore. But what shore is it? That's the question. Are we on the East Coast or are we on the West Coast? You could be both, right? Do you almost combine? This is combine? sort of like this hybrid. Mm -hmm. But this is something that I would envision having moved back here from Los Angeles. This is something that you would see in Southern California. So it doesn't have to be a special night out to come out and enjoy these meals. You, you've made it in a way so that it is, it could be at any night of the week that someone could come and enjoy the food here. Well, not just this restaurant, but all of our restaurants. We don't, we encourage people to come back on a regular basis. We don't care if you come in and just make a meal out of appetizers. There's no problem doing mm -hmm. that. It's like we're not asking people to break the bank every time they come to eat because we want you to come back. And but the view, I mean, how can you beat the view? This is incredible. In the middle of service, a barge will come by that could be 300 feet long and, you know, Things just come to a grinding halt when it does because people are just mesmerized by it. I, and I'm mesmerized by the food. We gotta talk about this a bit here. Look at this fish platter. Okay, well, we usually do a whole fish dish. And this happens to be a snapper um, with a uh, Thai vinaigrette and coconut rice. One of the signature dishes of the restaurant are these stuffed peppers. Now, mm -hmm. These are the type of dish that you would see in any of the, in any hole in the wall Mexican restaurant in Southern California. But what makes them different is that they have um, soy sauce drizzled over them. Broccoli Caesar salad. It's a charred broccoli. I've Caesar never seen salad. A, a charred broccoli Caesar salad. Neither let me tell did I you. until <laughs> I opened this restaurant. <laughs> uh, then we have a braised beef dish. So it's uh, not Peruvian just about pepper. seafood here. Exactly. It's like I know some people aren't always in the mood for fish. So we, there are options. There, all of my menus wow. have a lot of choice. That way you can't get through the menu once with a group of four people. You, you have can't to keep go coming wrong. back. That is to die for. I've had the salmon here. It's delicious. And the drinks are also something okay. that's a little bit different one, and out one, of this world. One, one of the things I wanted to become known for was a a, dish, a, a drink called a michelada. It's a uh, tomato, clamato juice, and beer over ice. It's something that if you were in Mexico, you had a hangover the next day, this is what you start your day out with. The food is delicious. The drinks are here for you to enjoy. The view is impeccable, and it, you can come here any time of year, even in the winter time, still get this amazing view, just a bit different, and enjoy this place. Zach, you have done an impeccable job. I can't thank you enough for having thank us you. here. Thank you. I'll be back time and time again, that's for sure. We will see everybody real <laughs> soon.
starting at a place called Beerhead Bar and Eatery, and I'm, on, I'm in good hands. Nick is here. You're going to save me, right, Nick? I try. Because I look at the wall here, and I think when people come in here and you ask them, you say, what would you like to have? How long does it take them to make a decision? If I leave it up to them, a few minutes. I bet. Because how many choices are there? Uh, 460. 460 choices. So Beerhead's a pretty good name for the place. Yeah. Okay, Shoe so, fits where, right? Yeah, right, right. So I learned that this place is also in Chicago. You have a place in Pittsburgh, a place in Rochester, New York, yep. you were saying. So you've been here in Cleveland for about a year on the east bank of the flats. And how, how's it going? So far, so good. It's, it's good to see the mix of people that come down here. You have the, the younger generation, you have the older generation that remembers the flats when it was. Yeah. And now to see what it is, it's, it's exciting. And I think it's pretty exciting for a person who's really into beer because you can find a beer here that you liked, you had somewhere else that you can't find. It's probably here, right? Yeah. What would be one of those beers? Honestly, it, it depends on what you go for. Um, we're we're kind of lucky in our position. It turns out we're pretty good customers, so we get kind of the, the head on... The pick. Right. Uh, Sleeper Cell is one of those from Founders. It's a... Uh, 10%. Do you have it here? Double IPA, yes. Could you, could you pour a little taste? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that, like that's a good example. Like I've had beers, like we, we were at Founders one time and I had some great beers there. They were terrific, but when I came back to Cleveland, you couldn't find them. There's no way to have them. Right. So this is it. And you, you just got to know where to go. And <laughs> Beerhead. Hey, so this is 10%, right? Yep. So I'll be, I, I think I'll be okay after this, right? That is terrific. Not bad. That is terrific. I, I've heard of a place called Three Floyds. Do you guys ever get a chance to get anything from yes. Three Floyds? And it's pretty much as soon as we get it on, it's gone when people know that we have it. So that is something you can honestly tell the audience that it's almost impossible to get. You almost have to win the lottery of beer to get that beer. Pretty much. Um, it took us a while to get it, but again, who we are, we lucked out. And uh, honestly, I think the three comes from like a three-day mark. Yes. Yeah. That's about how long they last around here. That is amazing. Okay, we've got all the beers on tap. We talked about over 460 beers. How many are on tap versus bottles? We have 50 on draft. Um, three of them are nitro lines. And then uh, we have, what, about 410 in bottles. Um, seasonals will change that. If we get large format bottles, right. that'll change. but. 40 of the beers will constantly revolve. Is there anybody here who can recite the beer list? I certainly hope not. <laughs> not after a couple of these, you, you won't? No. Thank you. Hey, I saw some great stuff on the menu too. Like, I'm a fried chicken freak. How's the fried chicken here? Our wings, they're yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um, you can get them with reaper sauce, which is basically just really, really, really hot sauce, um, barbecue sauce, but they're occasion dry rub. It's hard to beat it. Yeah, and I saw some great pizzas. Our pizzas, that's What's the What's your best. favorite? Goodfellow, number one pizza. What's on the Goodfellow? Oh, you get pepperoni, uh, mild sausage, bacon, a little bit of uh, herbs, you know, basil, that kind of stuff. Um, but I always tell people we have great beer. You have to have good food that goes along with it. And yeah. Between that and our barbarian pretzel, which is about this big, it's really tough to beat it. And you can't really talk about beer much without talking about brats. You got some pretty special brats here too. Yes. Uh, four hour ale braised bratwurst, um, comes with an onion jam, beer mustard, beer, what's why not? The, what's the sleeper on the menu? What's, what's, what's the one that like, surprises everyone? I think the reaper dip. Um, it has reaper sauce in it. It's like buffalo chicken dip on steroids. There is terrific stuff there. Okay, so what, what beer should I try for my exit here as we go to break? Well, what do you normally drink? Well, I, I, I like those, everyone likes those IPAs now, right? You can get an IPA anywhere. That's a black IPA, and that's from Millersburg Brewing Company. It's called a current event. Wait till you see what that tastes like. Tell you what, when you come here, you better talk to Nick a little bit because obviously he knows his stuff. Whoa, big surprise. Yeah. Terrific stuff. Thank you, Nick. You're Beerhead welcome. Bar and Eatery. Great talking with you. We're gonna have some more surprises coming up right after the break. I like this surprise. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's our very special road trip in the flats. That's right, the east bank of the flats. And if you're looking for elegant food, really styling food, I think bold food and drink 
is the right place. Right, Shaddy? Yes, it sure is. You're in for a treat. Okay, so I learned how to say Shaddy's name. How do you spell your name? C-H-A-D-Y. Okay, remember that because when you come in here, Shaddy's the guy who can help you and a lot of great things going on here. We're talking about this being a more elegant restaurant. Like the flats is pretty, it's pretty casual in, in, as you walk around different bars and saloons and all kinds of different ethnic foods. But this is where you come, it's more of a steakhouse kind of feel, isn't it? Uh, correct. Uh, however, we uh we have the kick when it comes to the food, but then when it comes to the prices, we, pl we try to keep it very affordable and uh, uh, yet uh, just with a big food punch. Yeah, really great stuff. I know I was looking at that too, and I was, I was some, my boys are 20 and 22, they come down here a lot, and they would love Bold because you've got like some great burgers on the menu that are unbelievable. We have something on the menu to please everyone, anywhere. It starts from like little snacks, uh, sandwiches, salads, uh, starting basically from $5, going all the way to like 30, 33 bucks. You know why that is? Because you have a secret weapon here. You know, that you make the asso buco, you've got the duck, you've got the confit, and you've got the burgers, but the secret weapon is a guy named Demetrius. Demetrius Athenos, he's the chef. Uh, chef uh, uh, Athenos have three restaurants, and this is the third and definitely most the boldest. Yeah, <laughs> it's has the name. It's terrific. So. You know, I look at this wall of uh, wall of drinks here. It is beautiful to look at. What kind of drinks do you guys make here? We have a lot of seasonal drinks from the summer in mojitos. Uh, I could get a mojito. Yes. Definitely. I could get a daiquiri. You can get a. We can make you a daiquiri. Uh, however, we do uh, lately a lot of bourbon infused drinks, uh, huckleberries, uh, whatever's in season and it's special. Uh, we're always on the on look for that. There's really a big uh, revival in those old time cocktails too, like the Manhattans. Correct. The old fashions. We do have Manhattans and old fashions on the, on the, on a new drink menu. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing, and we we use all local ingredients, local bitters. Uh, fruits that are local, locally sourced, so. Good stuff. Yes. And I want to tell everybody too, you know, we're talking about being an elegant food and an elegant restaurant, but you can walk in here however you're dressed in the flats. It's a casual spot. It's just the food is, is elegant. Yes. But like you said, priced at a place where everybody can afford it and enjoy the best there is to be had. The whole idea, if you want to come out with your, uh, you know, loved one or friends and you don't have to break the bank to just come in and enjoy very very good food and it's an open kitchen so you can say hello to demetrius give him a big wave he'll wave back he's a very friendly guy it's a terrific place and now i think we're ready for something big really big are you ready for something big i am we're calling it the big bang okay i got five dollars for this next one it is uh it's not a new song but it's a song everybody knows here we go the Big Bang is a high energy dual and piano bar. We play primarily guest requests with a ton of crowd interaction. On a normal night, there would be three to four piano players. Two are on the stage at all times. Um, and then we have a third or fourth that is constantly interacting and jumping on the stage for bits and pieces of the show. So the way the requests are generated, we have uh, request sheets on each table, as well as on the bar tops. Um, and then the customers fill those out and just drop them off at, on top of the pianos. It's a lot of fun. It's always different. So it could be any genre of any decade. It could be any demographic, any age group. It's a high energy atmosphere. People come to have a good time. Uh, they come to participate. They come to interact. And it's, it's just, it's all around. It's a really good musical show. It's not like anything you'll see any other place. People. People always try to give us the crazy request. It's all over the board and it, it keeps it really interesting and it keeps it really fresh. We do have a full food and kitchen menu. Um, a lot of our focus is small plates and appetizers and flatbread pizzas, things that you could uh, be having a good time and still have something to eat while enjoying the show. We have 10 beers on tap that are local, as well as two feature beers. We also have an extensive uh, drink menu that's made up by us, and it's done seasonally. People just, they love it. They love somebody that can play music and entertain them. You know, more than just a DJ. You know, live entertainment I don't think will ever die off because there's something magical about somebody actually performing.
So if you want to check out the Big Bang, it's right behind Punch Bowl Social around the corner from Bold Food and Drink. And guess what? More New Day Cleveland coming up right after the break. You have this backdrop behind us that's incredible. It's just gorgeous. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's our very special show, Flats East Bank, and sometimes you want to go to the West Bank, but how do you do it? How do you get from the West Bank to the East Bank? Captain Michael's the man, right? Right. How are you, sir? I'm good. I didn't ask for permission to come aboard, but does everyone have to ask for permission to come no, aboard the don't. taxi? No, you do Everyone's welcome. Okay, let me start off by saying this is the cleanest taxi I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> a safe boat is a clean boat. A safe boat is a clean boat. And it is a water taxi. That's what you call it, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so we get on the water taxi. What's our location and where do people find it? Well, right now we're on the East Bank. We are located right next to Coastal Taco. We're underneath the Main Avenue Bridge. And our dock on the West Bank is just south of uh, Music Box Supper Club. Okay, now do you charge me by the miles so I have to watch out you're going to take me the right way or how do you charge? <laughs> if we did, it would be an even cheaper trip. It's $2 for a ticket. That ticket's good all day long. So whatever our operating hours are for the day, your ticket, you can go back and forth as many times as you want. So I buy a $2 ticket and you can take me to the west side. Right. And I decide I don't want to be on the west side. I get back on, come back to the east side. Come right back. Take my ticket out, I'm going to go back to the west side. And what time do you guys operate? What are your, what are your well, operating Well, on time? Thursdays we run from 4 to 7 p.m. On Fridays we run from 4 to 9 p.m. Saturdays 11 to 9 p.m. And on Sundays 11 to 7 p.m. Okay, and is there a first class and coach and all that kind of stuff like on a boat? <laughs> no, your $2 ticket gets you any, any seat on the boat. And uh, you serve dinner or drinks or anything like that? No, no. But if you would be interested in a longer boat ride, we do offer river tours. Oh, on the same boat? On the same boat. On Tuesdays, we have a two hour long river tour. It's $15 a person. You need to call the uh, Canal Way Visitor Center to make a reservation. We uh, cover about a six mile stretch of the Cuyahoga River, and we have a naturalist on board that narrates that trip. So what kind of things can you learn on that trip? Well, you get up and close to the, uh, real close to the freighters. You see the commercial and industrial side of the flats and the river, and then also the entertainment zone where we are now. Mm -hmm. There's a restaurant way up river that the Metro Parks owns, I think, isn't it? Do you guys right. stop there or just turn around there? That's actually where our trips depart from, Merwin's Wharf Restaurant. Oh, so you go to Merwin's for that trip. Right. Okay, right. so if, so if you want to take just the taxi, you come here next to uh, Coastal Taco. Taco or uh, next to Music Box. Okay, so how long is this trip going to take the $2 trip across here? It's literally about a one and a half minute ride. One and a half minute ride. So it's so close, do you recommend the taxi versus swimming? Yes, definitely. Much safer. Much safer. <laughs> yeah, people have tried to swim across here and it's not oh, yeah. a good idea. No, it's not. Very dangerous. Yeah, so that's great. So jump on board. Captain Michael's here. How many different captains are there? Uh, we have about six different captains right Who, now. Who's the top captain? Uh, put your hand yeah, up. Uh, Come on, put your hand up. There you everybody's go. Everybody's good. There we go. Mm -hmm. So check it out. It's only $2 and if you want to take that longer trip, you go up to Merwin's. Correct. And that way you can find out about that also. And, and what, when does that run? Those trips are on Tuesdays, and we have a 30-minute trip on Wednesdays. Okay, so that's a great way to learn your way around here, and it's a beautiful ride here. Beautiful day, even when it rains a little bit. It's very tropical out today. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I think this Coastal Taco is right up there. I think that's where we're going to find that. In downtown Cleveland here in the flats but when you come to Coastal Taco you could be in any other beach city really in the entire world and Aaron I think would know that more than anybody else here being it that you're the manager this yeah. place is unbelievable well thank you I'm glad you like it it has been unbelievable and we really wanted to bring you know our great feelings that we have of going to the beach or going to the coast or the lake you know we wanted to bring that kind of feeling to Cleveland and I think we we have think that you get that feeling when you're here. You absolutely do. I mean, from the inside area to outdoors, you have games out here on your on the fake little grass that you have. Our backyard. Your yeah. little backyard area. The great benches you have set up here. You have this backdrop behind us that's incredible. The fire pit on the end of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, we hope that, you know, come wintertime, it becomes a little bit like a Thank you. lodgy oh. feel. So you can come in and, uh, you know, warm up by the fire on these cold uh, Cleveland nights, which are, they're coming. So I know our patio season will have to come to an end sometime, I hope. But the restaurant won't be. You it can, won't. We'll it'll be going. indoors. Yeah. 
fire going. Fire going. Totally different feel almost. Yeah. And then I feel like during the, it's the same when you come here during the day and at night. Two different worlds almost in yes. a way. By day, you know, you get the lunch crowd, they come down, uh, but still want the atmosphere. They want to be by the water and take a little break. Mm -hmm. Families coming down to play games and the kids play with the Jenga blocks, which is a lot of fun. And then at night, like the switch flips and it's, you know, it's a little bit of a playground down here to really hang out, let loose. And, you know, that's our vibe, you know, it's coastal, you know, it's uh, island time, you know, it's, we want to kind of give that to the people that live downtown and the people that come in. If you, you know, take a day birth. off work here in Cleveland and you come down here for the evening, you'd feel like you took a little getaway. Yeah. Bar That's plus, how I feel. Bar plus chill. Yes. Know? So we're trying to, you know, give people a way to chill out. And so are these the signature drinks that uh, everyone must love? This is the margarita. Oh. Yeah. So all fresh ingredients here, fresh lime juice, just Delicious. a little bit of agave syrup. Delicious. Um, and really nice tequila milagro, which is a very smooth tequila, a little bit higher end. So it's a little bit pricier than a normal margarita, but... Um, but it's worth it, let me I tell you, that's delicious. And I have a feeling I know what else is worth it here, the food. Yeah. So I think it's time to bring in some food, don't you? All right, Aaron, I didn't think I could be more impressed with this place, and now you've done it. All right. <laughs> this food looks amazing, and I see clearly you're known for your tacos. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the tacos. And there's quite a variety here, I must say. Yes. Well, Chef George is great. Cuban heritage, so he's got kind of the Latin soul. Oh, nice. Yeah, Cuban kind of heart, so you get that in the food for sure. But uh, Is that where the corn comes from too? Yeah, the kind of uh, Mexican street corn. Mm -hmm. Very again, we want to think like something that you go, if you go to Cabo and you get at the beach or you go to the, like the shore and you get a burger, you know, the Jersey Shore. And, and so it evokes that, but tacos all kind of like handmade, um, all individually um, put together. But you have the uh, our, our steak taco there. Uh, that's your chicken tinga. The Baja Blue Cod, which is a you know play on the Baja fish taco. Oh, you know. that's um, the one I'm gonna be going and for. Then, yeah, go ahead. And that's fried in a um, rice flour too, so it's still gluten free with a corn tortilla. Okay. It's a little bit lighter of a uh, flour, so it's not you know as heavy and as bad for you as like a deep So you feel fried good one. about eating the tacos. You do. You should, <laughs> uh, especially if you, after you have a couple margaritas. You know? <laughs> And then exactly. you have the mahi, uh, that's our uh, you know, mahi taco there. And then a, um, uh, the carnitas, this is the chicken tinga. Ooh. That is a tamale. And rather than putting the meat inside, which is uh, kind of the traditional way to do it, Chef changed it up a little bit and did a tamale, which is all corn, you know, masa. And then the topping on top. You know, and you take the lime, you put it on as you like. And is this the one of the bowls? That's one that, of the bowls. The, so it's yeah. a burrito bowl you can yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. I love the idea of this too. So maybe a little higher end than you would think of like the Chipotle bowl. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And it probably mahi, tastes fabulous. Yeah. Um, and then if you don't really want the whole fish end of things, you can you have other options on the menu like the, your burgers. Yeah. Two patties, cheddar cheese there. You got a great looking burger. It's delicious. Jalapeno slaw and then oh. Malanga chips, which are a Peruvian like root vegetable. So they are fried, but they are good. also very, they're like YouTube chips almost, like healthy for you, um, like plantains. And I think one of the best things about this place is that you can get these items until what time of night? You can get them until 1.30 in the in morning. In the morning, so yeah. it's not even night anymore. It's morning, and you can still come down here, eat late Last night. It's one of the only food, places you can do that down here in the flats, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, we just started doing it, and uh, we're sure it's going to catch on. Late night, late night and tacos and margaritas kind of go together. I'm all in. Aaron, okay. thank you so much. You got to dig in with me, yeah, right? Well. Got to taste these. Cheers. This is awesome. Still to come, we're checking out more of the Flats East Bank and visiting a restaurant that makes everything they can from scratch. Check it out, a giant freighter headed up the mighty Cuyahoga. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland, and we are in the Flats East Bank. Did I say that right, Heidi? Yes, Flats East Bank. Because Heidi is the person who knows all about this because, well, 
You weren't here in the beginning. I was here in the beginning, like many, many years ago. Yep, you walked up the hill. Walked up the hill. Several times. <laughs> this is not the flats I remember. Yeah, it's absolutely different. We are revitalizing. It's something that you've probably never seen before. It's just gorgeous. You don't even realize you're in Cleveland. No, Heidi's taking me to school now, and the first thing I learned was I walked out on this, what is this called? Our here. boardwalk. This is the boardwalk. This yes. is one of the most fabulous, beautiful things in Cleveland right now. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, you get to see, you just saw it, the boats. I mean, you just come down here on a Saturday night, it's beautiful. It's always been a big attraction, a big draw for people to come here, especially that come from out of town and they see the stacks of gravel and the bridges and the movement down here and the life. But you put sort of a, you put it on a new stage. Yeah, it's just it's just a gorgeous feel from the restaurants, the apartments to the office buildings. You know, it's just got this overall great feel. So we say Flats East Bank. How is the personality of the Flats East Bank different than the West Bank? You know, we, we, we have that water taxi that takes us to and from. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so we, we definitely work together. We, we love the Flats East Bank, or the Flats in general. Yeah. But, um, you know, the Flats East Bank, we've got great venues, great restaurants. And then we have the hotel and the EY Tower and our apartment buildings that really set us apart. Yeah, this is one of those destinations where there is something for everyone. I mean, if you're in a very casual mood, mm -hmm. there are how many choices for a casual mood then? Oh, at least. <laughs> yeah, I can't even count. You know, we have so many great restaurants with phenomenal chefs in town, you know, from Zach Brule to Fabio Salerno to, um, I think you're heading to Wileyville as well. I mm -hmm. mean, you just have so many options from the food side, but then from the bar side, we can go to Big Bang, we can go to Forward, we can go to anywhere. I mean, you can really cover your bases here. And you can find anything you want. I mean, there's, like, there's a thousand kinds of beer here. There's different oh. kinds of ethnicities. Yes. Have you been to Beer Hedge yet? Yes. <laughs> so thousands of beers. I mean, you know, with all the new changes in the, the beer laws, I mean, you can go there and you can really um, see some new stuff going what, on. What's your favorite thing about being down here? Um, that's a really hard question. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have a favorite because that's the number one question a lot. Like, what's your favorite place to go? But I think for me, um, I just love to experience it all. Um, you know, Big Bang is one of those places that's just a good time. And I didn't know that I was going to love it. And I have such a good time there. And then, you know, with my kids, they love punch bowl. I bring my children down here all the time. Mm -hmm. um, sit on Coastal Taco. They play games. There's ping pong. There's stuff going on. I can't even tell you what my favorite thing. See, Heidi answered my question. My favorite thing is discovery. All those things oh, you said, like yeah. you discover something for everyone. Yep. And just, I mean, just to come down here and stand on the boardwalk and look look back at the, at the skyline. I mean, it's such Absolutely. a unique place. People will say, who's your demographic? It is genuinely all over the place. Yeah. yeah. This, this is the thing that people for years have been saying, why don't they do this? Why don't they do that? Why don't they do this with Cleveland, all this wonderful stuff? Well, guess what? All the wonderful stuff has landed and it's landed here in the flat yeah. seat side. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's fantastic. I am going to go to another place. I bet you tell me it's amazing. It's called Wileyville. Yes. Yep. They are, they have great food. Farm to table. Here we go. The concept behind Wileyville essentially is doing as much scratch cooking as possible using local ingredients. Nothing that's new to the country, but a little bit newer to the city. Smoked chicken wings with hot sauce. We make our own hot sauce, we ferment our own peppers, and then mix it with butter and a little xanthan gum. We literally do everything we possibly can from scratch. Touching everything, making sure everything tastes unique to what it really is, respecting the ingredient. I would call it modern American that changes seasonally to multiple seasons or just on my whim, which, you know, I could eat Indian food yesterday and decide to do some tandoori today. You know, when you know how to cook, you're, you're able to kind of do that. Twice cooked fries and some sausage gravy house-made ricotta cheese, and uh, bacon. But at the end of the day, we, we hope that it's better tasting food. Just really simple, great cuisine doesn't need to be all this crazy stuff. It could just be three or, or four simple ingredients, you know, just mixed really well. I always akin or, or, or equate great food to kind of great songs. And so, you know, for us, my, my stairway to heaven was definitely this whipped ricotta dish. A little chili flake, a little salt, a little herbs, some house-made ricotta, and uh, heavy cream whipped together. That is definitely something that everyone should get when they come here if they've never tried it. It has our sourdough on it, and hopefully it makes, you know, the best, most unique table bread you could possibly get in the city. 
The only big thing we had for the architect was we wanted this place in a few years to look and feel like an old pair of jeans, which was we wanted to age gracefully, very warm, very inviting. And then we wanted us, you know, I like that open kitchen because as a chef, you like that energy. You feed off the energy of, of the crowd and all that stuff. Our whole thing was casual fine dining. So I've come from a fine dining background and I've always hated that funeral parlor like formality of it where everyone's, Hush, you know, they're we're celebrating our anniversary. It's like, that's not a good thing. You want to celebrate your anniversary. So that's my thing. Everyone could come in any way, shape or form. The thing I love most about cooking really is, I really just love the, the tangibility of it, putting something on the plate. And it's, it's always a challenge. You gotta check it out. Who doesn't love that fresh ricotta and the smell of fresh baked bread? When we return, a whole lot more from the Flats East Bank after the break. It's a big social atmosphere. Everyone gather around the punch bowl and, and have a great drink. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's our very special show, Flats East Bank. And I tell you, we've been having a great time here, enjoying all the entertainment and some of the great food here. And you know, you look around, you see these different condominiums and apartments people have here. People live down here and get to enjoy it all the time. But if you want to come down just for a couple days or you have friends coming to town for a little stay, how about a hotel? It's right there. It's called a loft. The Loft is kind of a newer brand within Starwood Hotels. It's different than your average hotel stay. The design, it's real modern, chic and sassy is the Loft words for it. It's got the industrial feel to it. Fits real nicely in the downtown Cleveland area, that's for sure. It's a really fun place to come down. Beautiful views of Lake Erie right at the mouth of the Cuyahoga River. It is the spot to be in downtown Cleveland. You can bring the train in, you can Uber in from the airport, or if you're coming, you park your car once and that's really all you need your vehicle for when you're here with us. We have 12 to 13 different food and dining options right here, some nightclubs, some entertainment options, a lot going on right in this immediate area here in the flats. The hotel is kind of the hub of the new entertainment district in phase one of a currently two phase and eventually three phase project. We have 150 rooms, different than the average hotel. They're efficient in size, nothing oversized, nothing uh, more than you actually need in the room. The unique lighting, the unique colors, the unique fabrics really separates us from a lot of the different hotel brands. Standard uh, guest room here with two queen beds. Uh, this is a corner unit uh, with views of Lake Erie and the Cuyahoga River. As you can see, there is uh, Plenty of space here. Every room's got the separate bench, flat screen TVs, pillow top beds, unique to a loft hotels, separate restroom area, sink area, every room with a refrigerator and safe in every guest room, complimentary Wi-Fi all throughout the hotel. Our remix lobby area really invites the guests to come down, get out of the rooms, mix and mingle with other guests of the hotel. You know, a real comfortable feel here in the lobby. We have a patio facing west, the best sunset views in the downtown area right over Lake Erie. And uh, we also have uh, the living room backyard area, which is a two-sided fireplace. You can enjoy indoor or outdoor uh, lounging right adjacent to the WXYZ bar. So you can get one of our custom cocktails, relax next to the fireplace, summer or winter, and uh, hang out uh, right under the bridges of downtown Cleveland. WXYZ, it's quite a unique little bar atmosphere as well. Happy hour, seven days a week actually, and ha extended happy hour on Sundays. The Aloft brand, it's kind of a at-home feel. It's kind of a casual business uh, style hotel. We want you to feel welcome. Anything you need, we're gonna do our best to take care of for you. A 
hotel in the flats. What a great idea. Okay, now it's time to find Natalie, and I'll tell you, there's so many things to do. I can't find her. She's probably doing something social. Where? Punch bowl social. If you want to have a little bit of fun when you come down here to the flats, I think this would be the place to be. We are here at Punchbowl Social. Dennis, thanks for having us, first of all. Well, thanks for coming. I love this place because you walk in, number one, it's huge, and I just feel like it's it's an atmosphere that you, you want to come, you want to be, bring a big group of people to. It is, uh, we've been recognized as being one of the favorite places to come to celebrate birthdays, but it is a place that uh, really resonates to multi-generational folks. I mean, millennials all the way to Generation Xers. People love, as parents, to bring their kids back to you know, to play and play some of the games and some, uh, some of the video games that they grew up with. And like I said, it really resonates to every age group. So what would you say is the whole, I guess, idea behind a place like this? Well, Punchable Social is a, uh, uh, you know, it's a three, you know, three-pronged approach. And we first and foremost is, is that we are a culinary destination with a scratch kitchen. We have a we have a great culinary partner in Hugh Atkinson, who's you know, in addition to being a, a celebrity chef, has also really helped bring uh, I think Punchbowl back to their roots when we opened up four years ago. Well, why don't we stick with with the food theme real quick? Now I know that you have quite a variety, but it, it starts with some good happy hour dishes. We have some great happy hour items, and we run happy hour every day from 3 to 6 o'clock. And that same menu option is also available um, for our late night offerings after 10 or 11 o'clock um, when, the, when the full menu um, kind of closes down. And on that full menu, you'll find everything from, I know you have some good ribs. We have everything from, from small plate items that can be, that can be shared. There can be big plates for multiple people. We also have salads and sandwiches and other bigger entrees. Uh, we also serve breakfast every day until 3 o'clock, so there's some breakfast options on there. We have a uh, bigger brunch menu on Saturday and Sunday when we open up at 9 a.m. You know, with a Bloody Mary bar on Sundays. Oh, got a little uh, good Also Mary a DJ in-house on Sundays to play some really uh, great music to go along with your morning brunch. So you need something to wash a lot of that down with. I, I, I know they have Always great Bloody do. Marys, but these are just two of your many drinks. Of course I go for This is a non-alcoholic drink? It is. So this is, what is this? This is called the Almond Joy. Mm. Um, a great, a great uh, contemporary milkshake with flavorings of, of the Almond Joy candy bar. And that and one? Itself. This is the, uh, one of our punches uh, called the Bathurst Cup. Uh, we we have beautiful. Three, bun three punches on our menu. Uh, that we And we also have a, uh, a featured one just for our location here that we do change at least minimum monthly. Punch is thought as the original cocktail. Yes. You know? And it's always a mix of you know some alcohol with some spice and some you know weak and strong flavors with it. It just uh, brings together I think the whole idea of what, what you're going for here. It's a big it's a big social atmosphere. Everyone gather around the punch bowl and, and have a great drink. Exactly. Now the, the entertainment then too, I mean they come here and they play all these great games. Now you mentioned some of them might bring you back to your childhood. Exactly. We have uh, you know we're bowling first and foremost. And uh, our our you know our lanes are not necessarily regulation size, but they're there for fun. They can do 10 pin, they can do all kinds of different bowling games. Where? I didn't even see this. Was it around so, the corner somewhere? So there's you know where there's eight lanes that we have in house and they're wow. segmented in different areas. Uh, for folks we also have uh, ping pong, we have uh, a magnetic wall scrabble, we have a billiard table, we have shuffleboard, and then we have all kinds of arcade games, pin old style pinball machines. Pac, a four-man Pac-Man. We even have an <laughs> imported Bonzini table, which is an eight to 10 person foosball table. Okay, so I said this at the beginning of this segment and I think he's just explained why. If you want to come down to the flats, have fun, enjoy yourself, bring a big group of people, have a birthday party or just come down and enjoy your weekend, yes. this is where you come. This is where you come. Punchbowl Social. Dennis, thank you. Thank you. When we return, we're bringing you a taste of Italy. It's Italian food at its finest. Service, please.
Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's our very special road trip in the flats on the east bank of the flats, I should say. And uh, shouldn't you be at Town Hall? <laughs> this is Fabio. Uh, I wear a few different hats, so Fabio, you caught me here today. Yeah, congratulations on that Town Hall. It's one Thank of the you. most successful restaurants in Cleveland. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that's terrific. That. Yeah. So here we are at Lago. Beautiful place. And this is, did you take this on as a hobby or what, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> Uh, well, fortunately or unfortunately, it's a, a family business, and I've been in it for a while. And uh, my family had restaurants that grew up in the business. And uh, Lago used to be in Tremont. Uh, we were there for seven years. Oh yeah. And uh, this fl the Flats project here presented an opportunity for us to come down, um, expand our, pro our, our our what we do, uh, catering and event business as well as an Italian restaurant. Uh, so it was a great opportunity for us, and we, we took it. So you guys, your family definitely has your uh, your finger on the pulse of the city. What's going on here, huh? Well, I tell you what, I have a lot of history down in the flats. Uh, I started my. You career. can't tell people about that, though. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I, I started my career in Cleveland. I used to live in Miami when I moved back, and uh, it was really an amazing thing for us to kind of come full circle and uh, come back down here, me and my wife, and open this business yeah. down here. We were one of the first leases signed down here, an anchor restaurant for the Aloft Hotel, and. Uh, it's been pretty amazing for us. You got a halibut going? So what was the personality you wanted to build in the Lago that was sort of missing in the flats and makes it such a popular spot? Well, I, I mean, it, it's the, the family kind of vibe that we have down here and, uh, and, and what we bring as far as, it's very personal for me and my wife. We're here, we work uh, the space where you can see us here at any given night, especially on the weekends. You get in the kitchen here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, the menu is something we're really proud of. I like the Italian menu here. And I tell you, it, it's easy, it's simple, and it, it's something people understand and it's comfort food. Carbonara up. The recipes range from North uh, Italy to Sic Sicily where my mom's from and a lot of the items are things that really that we made as I was growing up in my family's restaurant and, uh, and, and stuff that I grew up on that really made me happy and comfortable, like you yeah. said, comfort food. Let's talk about Lagos a little bit, the personality, how the pers personality really evolves like during the day. Like it's a, it's a different thing, like right now we're sitting on here in this beautiful sunshine. You see the bridge, you see all this, you, you know, you can have lunch versus the evening. Well, you know, we try to be dynamic um, and we try to have something for everybody uh, in the office buildings and the residents now that have moved down there at all times of the day. You know, we have a lunch business, we have a great happy hour, and then we have an amazing dinner service. And then we have live music, we have a DJ here after 10 o'clock, we turn into a lounge. And uh, that dynamic has really, I think, fit well for uh, for the flats, and, and we have a lot of fun with it as well. Yeah, you know, we've done this show a whole hour here down in the flats, and it's really a lot of fun to see all the different personalities here. It's almost like a, <laughs> it's almost like a giant sampler. You know, you go to a brewery and they have the sample of all the different beers. It, 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 definitely. Well, the Wolsteins have done a great job, and Fairmont Properties have done a great job, kind of bringing everybody together and these different personalities and different business types that all kind of, you know give that flats the yeah. spirit that they have right now. Yes. We have flats goers that come here to start their night and finish their night. You know, they go to the other places and they come back or they come here and they eat dinner and then they go party and dance uh, yeah. uh, the night away. Yeah, so, I, I valued the valet parking when I pulled up here. It was perfect. I jumped out of the car. I'm over here sitting with it's Fabio. Seamless. It really is. And it's really built kind of a lifestyle center down here, you know, where you can eat, you know, you play and people are living down here now. You can sleep too, so. Not while you're at Lagos. <laughs> Not while you're here. The party's too big. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, my pleasure. Check Appreciate it out, you Lagos. Coming down. Great spot. Thank you. Albert, my good mid bear coming up. Well, I wouldn't recommend trying to do all this stuff in an hour because there's a lot to do. But you know what you could do in an hour is you could come down here, park your car, and you could walk around and see everything that's here on the east bank of the flats. Flats East Bank. And I gotta tell you, you could spend a lot of evenings here or a lot of daytimes here, a lot of afternoons enjoying the different types of food, entertainment, and fun. So check it out. I hope you enjoy the show. For Natalie Herbeck, I'm David Moss, and guess what? We'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.